These are some best um, practices and tips and tricks. So this is something that I feel pretty strongly about. I used to be a college instructor myself. Um, I then was in the training world where I would go into the classrooms and train instructors um, across the country. And really, to be very blunt and honest, is that if you don't know how to use MindTap and you don't take the time to initially set it up um, and, and, and know how to navigate, your students aren't going to use it to their full capability either. So it is important for um, you as an instructor, and once you do this, you do it literally one time and then you can copy classes over very easily. Um, so it's just putting in that, that one, one time effort there, but I would strongly consider that you go through and complete the assignments yourself just one time so that while they're in lab or they're at home and they send you an email, you've already done that. You've already been there. You know exactly how to um, help them. We also know that, and we have this research, and this research is all listed on a website that I'm going to show you next, but we have found out that students who are in MindTap uh, three or more times a week um, have a 90% chance of, or I'm sorry, have, yes, a 90% chance, better chance of getting um, an A on in the course. Um, and so, we strongly suggest, especially with the labs and advanced computing, at least 60% of the grade. Um, that way they go in and they actually do it. It's that hands-on that they absolutely 100% need. So um, I put 60 to be conservative here. That's up to you and depending on how the rest of your course is, is outlined. Um, and then when the course begins, uh, make sure they do that system check that you saw Kate do ahead of time. I like to say your first day of class, go over all the expectations, your syllabus, the normal stuff, and then the first day, well, either class or lab, depending on how you have it set up, get them into MindTap. I'm going to show you um, a great video. It's linked here, but I'm going to navigate you around the site, but that'll get you directly to it uh, once you get this PowerPoint. Um, and Use the video, make them watch it, and then have them all get into MindTap while they're in class that first day. You walk around, you help them if there are any questions. But it's actually pretty darn easy. Um, and then if you're teaching any courses um, using an LMS, which I know one of the individuals on this call is, um, she let me know that she's using Brightspace or D2L. Use the student videos for the, you can integrate them into your um, LMS wherever you choose. And also in the LMS, you can make them worth a grade, as I was saying earlier. It can maybe only be three points, but you know, if they watch that, um, you know, navigating through something in MindTap, you could give them a few points and they'll do it because it's worth it. Okay, so I'm gonna share my browser here with you. And here is this website, um, Cengage.com training, forward slash MindTap, but like I said, you will get these, so don't worry about it one bit. We have a ton of stuff on here. You'll notice at the top, um, somebody uh, on the call was asking about Brightspace. I can click right here, and everything that has to do with MindTap and Brightspace will be here. Also notice over here on the left-hand side, you can filter. So if you're looking for that, how do my students get registered video, because I want to show it in class, I would hit student. Only two things come up there, but just to, for the sake of it, let me show you that you could go down even further and do videos. And now here, um, look at this, MindTap on Brightspace registration. It is a fun and pretty short video here. It's about four minutes long. It walks them through, that is loud. There we go. <laughs> it walks them through the steps of how to link from uh, their Brightspace account into the Mind tab. All you have to do is hit link, and then you can copy this into your LMS. It is already copied on my dashboard. I can, um, I can open up text editor and notice it's right there. 
We also have um, just other student facing. So if we get out of Brightspace and we just want to um, search other MindTap functionality that maybe we haven't had a chance to go over today and you want to show your students, um, you could do student video training and it will show them, um, there's more, but how to use different things within MindTap, how to complete assignments, submitting papers, um, experiments using MindTap, things of that nature. Now for you as an instructor, you're gonna have different videos. So we were talking about spend some time and make your MindTap course what you want it to be. Um, after that, you can copy it over to your other sections or next semester and beyond. Um, course section and management, you can edit that learning path any way you'd like. You can reorder it, you can take things out, you can hide them, you can set certain dates. All of that short little videos, once again, in here uh, for your disposal. So use these, they're extremely helpful and, and they're not very long. We also have a, um, let me show you here, we, uh, in the link here, we have a video for our IDE, instructional video, and so it'll link right out here. And Welcome this is, to the MindTap training video. Here we go. Uh, and we have a couple of these videos that are coming out that we've uh, just made especially for the IDEs. So make sure um, that you check them out.